Hey guys, check this out. I discovered this program. Thanks to a student, I have to give a shout out to, it was a guy I was teaching today, and he pulled up this program here called Spec. And he started showing, because I was talking about some of his music that we're playing, it didn't sound very good. He goes, oh, let me check it out. And he runs it through the Spectrum Analyzer program. And he's like, oh, yeah. You know, he goes, if I have things that are like beho below 20 hertz, mm, I don't even play. I was like, that's kind of interesting because, so I came home, of course, and I downloaded this thing. So I'm part of a music pool. I'm not going to say who they are, but they're an online music pool that allows you to download MP3s, right? So like that David Bowie mix here. It scans in pretty good. You know what I mean? And um, even if I play this thing, geez, what I just do here? Undo the type in. <sighs> Didn't really mean to open my iTunes over there. I meant just to uh, preview this thing. So, just in case you don't know, some people don't. Um, my mouse is acting funny here. Uh, if you hit the space bar, it does a preview. So this song here, you go through. Sounds all right, but like, let's run it through the analyzer. So look on the analyzer. So what you're seeing here is through the song, you're seeing the different frequencies and what they're hitting. So like the highs, for instance, the human ear can hear from 20,000 to 20 hertz so they say right um now the older you get the higher frequencies they're going to start to die on you so at my age my high frequency range is already pretty shot but it shows here this thing doesn't even make it the highest highs do nothing um this is all from the same pool too you know what i mean it's not like these are rips this one here is even worse so now let's just funny is you don't really notice when you're listening to it you know what i mean it's not until you visually see that wow man there's some big differences between some of my stuff and my tracks um on the subsonic like, let's check this one out so this one here when you look at it man like it just off the charts so let's listen and see if we can tell the difference Already, this sounds a little bit more high fidelity to me. Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. See what I mean, girl. With a bang, bang. Bang, say it, girl. So, yeah. Like so far, when I was going through listening, it, you know, by my ear, I can hear that this thing just sounds very, like I said, very high fidelity, right? And when I run it through this analyzer and I see, like, yeah, man, this thing's like, you know, it's it's char charting out over top 22 hertz, you know what I mean? Sorry, that's 22,000 hertz, 22 kilohertz. Um, take this one, for example. And you know what? That's still pretty acceptable because if I listen to it, it sounds pretty. Ain't nobody missing when they my down. I was getting. So yeah, like on my speakers, I don't know how it's going to translate in the video, but on my speakers, that sounds really nice. You know what I mean? And so I'm starting to kind of see that I'm going to have to really go through my tracks and. You mean like this one here? And here's what it sounds like to me. This is what they talk about compression. You know what I mean? You look on the screen here and you see this is like just squished down. You know what I mean? It's compressed. I don't hear the range, that, dy that dynamic range that gives you that very high fidelity sound. Um, I keep saying high fidelity because I can't think of any other better, better word for it except sounds good, you know what I mean? 
And I'm just going to show you something quickly. So let's take a look here, and I'm going to pull up. So this is stuff that I ripped off of YouTube, right? I'm just going to pull something in here. And just like you suspect, it's very compressed, you know what I mean? Because it was off of YouTube, and it got ripped off of YouTube. And even though it got ripped at 320, and this one here, even worse. This has no high end at all. But yet, when I play it, it doesn't sound bad, but it just is missing that extra little something. You know what I mean? And so if this isn't proof right here of why, you should be buying high quality stuff. Nothingness. When you visually see it, you're like, oh, yeah, my stuff isn't looking so hot. You know what I mean? Um, let me just pull up something else, another folder. So this is stuff that came from the um, my buddy. And you know what? It's, you know, like that there, I can look at this and I can tell this track's going to sound really nice. Let's listen. It just sounds clear, you know what I mean? So yeah, you get the point anyways that, you know what? The moral of this whole thing is when you t compress tracks, you're compressing them. Simple as it is. If you can play a flak, great. If you can play a WAV, great. That's about as good as it gets. As soon as you start spinning MP3s, you're going down a dangerous road because it's a hit and miss. Right from the same MP3 pool that I'm a part of, all these tracks sound very different because everyone's mixed and mastered them differently and different compression levels and who knows? Who knows why? But... I think I might have to start organizing my music based on this spectrum display. The things that, you know, make a folder saying, here's everything that's at least 20,000 and up. Because that's going to tell me that they're all going to have that same kind of energy and they're going to feel good together. You know what I mean? So this might be a great way to weed your system out. You know what I mean? Just go through all your music and pull all the good stuff, put it aside, and you're going to end up probably with a very good selection of music and the rest of stuff just dump it just trash it don't even save it for anything and uh you know what try and find higher fidelity music to play and download anyways that is it this was a free download it's just um i did a search for spec what's the website here so yeah it's just spec.cc it's free software uh you know what Feel free to maybe send these guys a message and tell them, you know what, this is cool software, free, I love it. Anyways, that's it guys, and I'll talk to you later.